Hello everybody, Graham from Front Next Cycle again. Here we are at my lovely family cottage. Uh, today we're going to be doing the first impressions of my new bike. Uh, I think a couple months ago you guys saw that I was getting a fancy new Norco Revolver FS120 with the SRAM Eagle Access drivetrain. Um, and yeah, here to give you the first, first impressions of how I think it rides. So now that I've had a few kilometers under my belt on this bike, I'm gonna go over the different aspects that I've discovered. The climbing ability, the suspension and the fit of the bike, as well as how the electronic shifting and the electronic dropper, dropper post have been working for me so far. So moving from my previous bike, which was a slightly longer travel front end and heavier wheel set, to the SID Ultimate with the DT Swiss XRC wheel set saved quite a bit of weight and what that translated to was uh, an ability to get up and over obstacles and a climbing ability that greatly improved from my, from my previous bike. So as I mentioned in the first video, I have always lusted over the SID suspension and, and dreamed of having it. I now have it and can say that it has lived up to my high expectations. The setup of the suspension was super easy and the way that it handles both small and big bumps, uh, very buttery smooth. I can get over like tough rocky sections easily. The, uh, the frame itself, the rear linkage, uh, I really like the way that it works. It's very responsive. I don't feel like I'm losing power when I'm uh, hammering and putting down the watts. I don't feel like I'm, I'm getting any, any you know, wheel, wheel traction loss anywhere on the climb. Uh, very happy with the way the whole suspension setup works. So what you all came for, obviously you want to know how the electronic shifting and dropper posts work uh, fantastically. Uh, the, no issues with uh, shifting once I got it all dialed in. The first mountain bike ride had a little bit of issue, was kind of sitting in between gears a bit, but uh, took it back to the bike stand and uh, got it set up lickety split. The from gear to gear, it's, uh, it's amazing, it, it almost, I will say it almost sometimes feels like it's not shifting, but it is, it is shift, it has shifted, it has crisply got into gear, but it's, it's almost your brain can't comprehend how smoothly it goes. Um, and as for the dropper post, uh, up and down thousands of times now and uh, without issue, um, smooth, quick, exactly how I want it to function. So extremely happy with the way that the SRAM AXS system has worked for me this year. <laughs> yeah, getting it in the car, if you, uh, if you have a small car like me and uh, you need to fit the bike in the car, you no longer have to worry about uh, a cable attached to your seat post if you need to get your seat post out. It just pops right out, uh, makes for very easy transportation. S-T-O-P. Stop. Let's talk about brakes. Traditionally, I have been a Shimano only brake guy. Uh, they have always been my go-to. I've had some frustrations with SRAM in the past, but I can confidently say that I have had zero issues with my SRAM brake setup thus far. So I am starting to turn the corner on SRAM. I really, really like the performance. I'm getting a strong brake feel from start to finish. I don't have a lot of uh, squishiness in the lever. It's a nice firm feel. The dialing in the, the position of the lever, super easy and straightforward. Uh, and, and good overall stopping and grabbing power on the discs, even when things are m wet and muddy. So, A plus. F A S. <laughs> I won't do that. But the bike, super fast. I've been riding this bike now for a while, and each time I get on it, uh, you put the pedal down and you go in quick. It's 
uh, it, it handles very smoothly underneath you. So even if you are hitting a, a rougher section of trail or, um, or a steeper section of trail, you, you do feel confident that the bike is going to go quickly and go quickly over the obstacles. So that's kind of the, the biggest takeaway I think I have from this bike is, is how much lighter the front end is, which, which equates to a uh, um, better handling over, over set obstacles and just how fast the bike is getting over stuff. Um, I'm, I'm very impressed with it so far. I think that's kind of the biggest takeaway I have from this, this bike is, is just how quick it is uphill, downhill, um, every which way it goes fast. The bike is built for racers, I think, but I'm not a racer and it works wonderfully for me. So even if you are a racer or even if you don't think you're a racer, the bike is going to, it's just going to be fast. Uh, very happy with the, the new design of the revolver frame, uh, over previous iterations that I've ridden. It, it does, it does handle better. Um, uh, the previous iterations were hundred mil travels. This is 120. I think for around Kingston at the mountain bike club and the other trails around, around the area, this bike is, is meant for, for pretty much anybody. It, it goes fast. All right. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to hammer that like button and subscribe because we've got more coming to you. Thank you very much.